From the book Reflections, the blog. My name is Brian Hobbs and I am a cancer patient. I just had a major operation to remove one of my kidneys and a large tumor that was attached to it. I won't bore you with the details. The heading pretty much says it all. When you're somewhat incapacitated, as I have been most of this summer, you have plenty of time to ponder. I spent a lot of time going to my happy places, revisiting people I have loved and places that have brought me joy. I also realized how thankful I am for so much. All in all, I'm happy. Of course, I wish I didn't have cancer and I still don't know what the outcome will be. But I'm positive, thoughtful and thankful. And my advice to everyone is this. Take your moments and create happy places for yourself and for people you love. Never forget that the most insignificant things you do, like giving someone a quarter to buy an orange popsicle on a hot summer day, or just spending time with someone, can be a lifetime memory for them. And don't be afraid to turn around and look your mortality in the face. It's the best way to remind yourself to keep petty bullshit in the right fire. And most importantly, love each other and be kind. I have one problem. September 21st, 2017. I've managed to whittle down all of my life's problems into one. It didn't happen by choice. It was imposed on me. I have kidney cancer metastasized to the liver. All the other things I used to worry about seem pretty insignificant. Prestige, money, clothes, pension, work, fame, and recognition. Okay, the money thing is always there, but as long as my wife and kids are okay and we can hold on to the house, it's good. I never thought in terms of bad days or good days before. They were just even moving channels carrying me from one place to the next. Now I see things. Sun, shadow, blue skies, rain. The change of seasons. My senses are alive again. Love has gone from abstract to tangible. Granted, the one problem I have is major. And it's big and ugly and I wrestle with it daily. And right now I don't know who has the upper hand. But I know that the beast feels all the love sent my way. And hopefully... That is waking him. Wishful thinking, Pollyanna dreamer, maybe. But today is a good day. I'm going to take a walk. And I'm going to like to fight another day. And yeah, I still only have one problem. September 2nd, 2017. Here's another day. What are you going to do with it? That is a question I woke up with, echoing inside my head. After going back to bed this morning. I had awakened about two hours earlier with the mantra of, I'm going to die. In hindsight, I'm going to die seems ludicrous. Of course I am. Everyone is. But upon my first wake up, I talked to my wife, a surprisingly smart woman, even though she married me. We had talked about acceptance, not resignation or giving up, and that old standby of taking it one day at a time. 
And as I'm writing this, I'm remembering one of my favorite lyrics, Tomorrow Doesn't Care, that I wrote with Leif Larsson, that was performed by Lost Van Gogh's. You can't live in tomorrow, building castles in the air. Don't you know, this time is borrowed. And tomorrow doesn't care. I wrote that, so what the hell am I sitting there worrying about? I'm going to die, I'm going to die. Well, I went back to bed and slept off and on for a sweaty, uncomfortable two hours. And when I woke up, it was like a fear had broken and I was looking around my room, thankful and thoughtful because I was hearing, here is another day. What are you going to do with it? Instead of, I'm going to die. October 9th, 2017. Rediscovery. What a wonderful word. For me, it means realizing and appreciating things I never gave a second thought to before. Having an appetite, sleeping, and other bodily functions. I have also rediscovered the importance of friendships and relationships. I also take time to think, to be aware. Except for major events I stay away from the filler and bullshit from both sides of the political spectrum. That alone has given me a great deal of peace of mind. I've rediscovered that worry is a waste. I'm learning that finding a purpose is the greatest gift. Quite simply, I am rediscovering myself, complete with other flaws and self-inflicted wounds. And I am healing, not only in my body, but in my soul. I am no longer crippled by doubts and fears. Acceptance is a big part of my daily life. Abounding dreams have been rediscovered. I've fallen in love with the words again, and they take me deep inside myself, so I can look out and see all the things I've forgotten. Rediscovery. Maybe it's part of the evolution of life. Maybe it's the thing that renews us or lets us see once again through the soul of a child. So take this time today to rediscover yourself. You might be surprised at what you find. I wrote this benediction to my husband and it was read on his funeral and also on the memorials. The essence of our soul was never born and will never die. All we are is light, experiencing a body for a while. Divine sparks going home to where we came from.